Good morning and welcome to the Taz Morning Show. Taz Morning Show brought to you by Marcus Al Baja in association with Al Falad Hotel and Dofar Automotive. The Supreme Committee will hold a press conference today at 11 a.m. It will be chaired by His Excellency Dr. Ahmed Al Saidi, Minister of Health, who would update about the latest developments on coronavirus outbreak in the country. Oman registered 17 COVID-19 deaths, the lowest since June 14th, as the country pushes ahead with speedy vaccination drive. The country's coronavirus death toll touched 3,356 on Wednesday. Health Ministry data showed. The last time Oman reported lowest COVID-19 deaths was on June 14th, when 19 patients died battling the virus. Meanwhile, COVID-19 new infections also dropped, with MOH registering 1,675 cases in 24 hours. The travel ban on passengers coming from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Philippines has been extended until further notice, according to the decision issued by the Oman Supreme Committee. The committee also extended the suspension of entry to the Sultanate for arrivals from Sudan, Brazil, Nigeria, Tanzania, Sierra Leone, Ethiopia, Thailand, Malaysia, and Vietnam. Oman has moved rapidly and decisively to contain the COVID-19 crisis. International Monetary Fund informed. In a statement issued, IMF said the Sultanate's economy is expected to gradually recover from the pandemic and strengthen the medium term. The overall GDP, according to IMF, is projected to grow around 2.5% in 2021, with about 3% average growth over the medium term. Thank you for joining us in the Taz Morning Show. To get the latest updates, log on to theurabianstories.com.